Victorian Liberal leader John Pesuto heralded a turning point for his embattled party after he voted to expel controversial MP Moira Deeming. Highlights Moira Deeming will now sit on the top row diagonal bench Liberal lawmakers, who will now face Moira Deeming in the Upper House, voted to impeach the Upper House member after threatening legal action against leader John Pesuto. Liberal lawmakers voted to impeach the Upper House member after he threatened to take legal action against leader John Pesuto. Friday morning's vote culminated in escalating weeks of party tensions, with Ms Deeming filing a defamation lawsuit against Mr Pesuto on Thursday. Ms Deeming's colleague and conservative friend Renee Heath was also sanctioned at the meeting for taking minutes of the meeting in a party room. Liberal MPs voted to dismiss him as party chamber secretary. Liberal leader John Pesuto hailed vote as a show of support for his leadership, although more than a third of the party room voted against motion to expel Ms Deeming. We are committed as a team to be a disciplined, unified, focused team, he said. We know in order to be an effective opposition, we need to be an inclusive, friendly and caring party that engages with our local communities and speaks out on issues concern them. Reform is not easy and reform takes time. Conservative first-term MP Renee Heath was removed from her post as parliamentary secretary during the meeting. Mr. Pesuto denied speculations as to whether his leadership was fatally weakened by the turmoil surrounding this deeming. It is a strong affirmation of a very difficult, very challenging process, he said. Mr. Pesuto said Liberal Party members would receive a detailed account of the events leading up to Ms. Deeming's deportation, but would not discuss them publicly. John Pesuto downplayed speculations that the legend had undermined his authority as a leader. It was about being part of a team, and I think that's something that works in minds of the people who are making decision today, he said. We appreciate the election of Moira as Liberal Party candidate, but we also have a responsibility to the wider Victorian public to be welcoming and inclusive party. The crisis was triggered when Ms Deeming attended an anti-trans rights rally on the steps of the Parliament House in March. He was suspended from party room for nine months for attending the rally, which was blocked by neo-Nazis. Look back at how the vote to expel Moira Deeming from the Liberal team in Parliament has unfolded. Ms Deeming later denounced neo-Nazis' actions and denied the men's claims of any involvement with organisers. The Upper House MP initially agreed to the suspension, but later backed off, claiming that Mr Mr Pesuto said there was no need to withdraw as nothing in a file circulated by him after attending the rally accused Moira Deeming of being a Nazi sympathiser of the Nazis. Moira Deeming, seen in a file photo, did not attend today.